Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video and I don't think I've started this vlog off yet. I have not spoken to you guys yet. You guys don't know what's going on or if you read the title you know exactly what's going down. I just got my text message literally one second ago. It is 5.04 a.m. I got the text message from American Airlines that my flight departs at 9.04 a.m. It is 5.04 a.m. Yes, if you saw correctly I got up this morning at like 4.30 something. It's, it's an early day. I got an early flight because I'm going to Cabo so excited so looking forward to this trip let me put you guys down so I can give you guys the rundown of what you gotta see today because I don't know if it's gonna be as much talking in today's vlog as normal you're gonna see a lot hopefully fingers crossed this trip goes exactly as planned which I think it will now this is not a solo trip vlog I know you guys probably wanted me to go to Cabo by myself if you want to see a solo Cabo trip check out my favorite content creator Aaliyah's face she went to Cabo solo for her birthday this year but I'm going with one of my best friends who actually also has the same birthday as me I mean exact same date month and year we have been friends for the last nine ten years we met at our very first job uh together right out of college it was a like a rotational program for 10 college graduates uh so i graduated may 2012 june 2012 i started this job there's an icebreaker the first day of work where you know the little sheet where you're supposed to go around the room and find somebody who hits this thing and it was go around the room find somebody who has a birthday in the same month as you and i was like okay easy peasy somebody's born in november then i found her november 28th and then the fact that we were all recently graduated from college i could assume that it was the same year so best friend and i are going down to cabo you've seen her here and there throughout my other vlogs we've gone to new york together we lived together for four years if you've watched my channel from the very beginning she was who I lived with in my stair house so that was my roommate back then when we rented that house so um this is probably our second time ever going on a birthday trip together we went to New York City birthday of 2012 because it was Thanksgiving and we just figured everybody would forget our birthdays anyway so let's spend it let's see the Macy's Day Parade let's do all of this in New York City but that was very cold this time we're going somewhere very warm we're going down south we're going to Cabo Mexico now also, this is my first ever trip out of the country by plane. Like, I've gone on a cruise before. You've seen my cruise vlogs. Not to say they don't count. They do count totally. But this is the first time where, like, I really need my passport. Make sure that's packed. I got all my bags packed right here. Um, how did I fit it all in the carry-on, you may ask? Um, packing cubes because I got a lot of clothes. I got a lot of clothes, but I still did not pack more than a carry-on this go around too. Uh, you guys watched my last few vlogs. I went to LA, San Francisco, Key West. Uh, I've been to New York. I've been to uh, several places on this channel with this suitcase. And I said, you know how I'm gonna do it? I'm gonna do it with packing cubes. Maybe I'll open it. You guys will see probably when I get to Cabo how how I was effectively able to do all that. But I still have to do my makeup. I want to leave out this house by 5.30 if possible. I'm giving myself plenty of time so I could get there maybe at six something. They say get there three hours early for international flights, especially if you're checking a bag. I'm not checking a bag, but I know it's going to be packed, packed, packed. Probably more with returning people than departing people because, you know, Thanksgiving was Thursday. Today is Saturday, November 27th. So um, probably some people coming back. Hopefully not as many people traveling. Um, I did look up the parking deck last night and it was packed. You guys know I always drive to the airport. I don't rarely Uber. It was packed, but luckily I was able to like go online and reserve a spot for this morning so that, you know, as cars leave, I should be able to be good and park there. If not, I might have to Uber. I'm going to check and make sure that that is all still valid. So, yes, let's get started. Let me do my makeup really, really quickly. I got my airport outfit on, wanted to be comfy, do my hair, pull the scarf off and do something to my hair. And I will see you guys throughout this video. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me what would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me would you well, baby, I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Like you, this 
this ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love So don't give away And another woman that can take your spot My love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love And another woman that can take your spot, my love
you can see, we are staying at Nobu, which is a restaurant and a hotel. I learned something new this year. Um, so I have made it. We are here. Me and my bestie have made it. It is raining, if you can kind of see, but today's the only day it's supposed to rain. Um, we should be getting clear skies and beautiful weather the rest of the time that we are here. It's so calm. Like, this is probably the best hotel I've ever stayed at in my entire life. Um, in terms of itinerary, everything you see in this vlog is all produced by my friend. My best friend planned this whole thing. She sent a notes app. She used the notes app, shared it with me, and I could see every time she updated, anytime she booked anything, anytime she paid for anything, I got to see it. She's a planner. If you need a friend that you can travel with, you need a friend like Shauna. You need a friend like Shauna, she'll take care of everything. She'll do it all because she's about experiences. Tonight, we're gonna have our dinner at, actually, Nobu tonight. We're gonna have dinner here. She has planned all our other dinners, all our other excursions, everything else you'll see she planned so excited this room is so nice we have the swim up room if you notice which again today with it raining but getting to enjoy that tomorrow let's get showered and then dressed and then dinner Good morning. I'm out here on our balcony by the pool as Lashana gets ready. Um, we're gonna go take kind of birthday pictures because today is our birthday. It is our birthday. It is November 28th. It is our 32nd birthday. <gasps> so excited. I have my dress on. Last night's dress was from House of CB. It's not the one I bought from LA. When I did my LA vlog, uh, you guys saw I went to House of CB. I tried on a dress there. I bought a dress there, but that's my birthday dress for tonight. Yesterday was my pre-birthday dress I bought from House of CB. I ordered that online when I got back because y'all know I pack a carry-on I can't buy everything in stores but I can order online so I ordered that dress last night you saw we went to Nobu which is right here loved everything loved everything it is it is quite expensive and the plates are quite small but I love everything the tacos you have to get if you go to Nobu you have to get the tacos I got the lobster and a crab I also got the sushi really good I got the jalapeno yellowtail yellowtail jalapeno sushi roll and then the steak the steak I will say I got it medium I should have maybe gotten medium rare which is rare for me I can always typically get a medium and be good with that but um, nonetheless everything chef's kiss but sun is coming it is six about 650 yeah it's roughly about 650 here so super early my body is still on east coast time which is about two hours difference here so 
it's about eight something there but still it's still early no matter what for me to be dressed ready to go see it's the day but it's birthday and birthday early is different than regular life early oh girl this is oh, this is so giving funny. it's giving still using tripods because nothing can be us taking our own pictures i'm just so used to taking my own pictures with my little apple watch
so I am now back in the room um, it is now almost three o'clock uh, getting close to three we have dinner reservations at sunset Mona Lisa at 6 p.m. tonight so um, we just had a little snacky snack nothing too big guacamole we also did go see the Ark here in Cabo which was so awesome so nice to see it um, what else oh I met one of you guys I met one of you guys even out of the country I'm meeting one of you guys it was so funny I know you I hope you watch this video because we both simultaneously took Cabo trips one Lashana was like oh man I should have been recording and I was like yeah I never think about it because it just always happens so sporadically and two um, you made a comment about um, solo trip like I thought you always took solo trips what is this and I was like oh no 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 not this one not this one so I hope watching back the vlogs I don't hide people I, I, those other trips were really solo trips this trip I've made it clear from the beginning I am traveling with somebody so excited to have our birthday dinner tonight um, after I get done playing around in the pool a little bit I'm gonna take a shower then we're gonna get started getting dressed I think we said about four ish um, so that we can leave and get there take some pictures at five and then have dinner at six so yes super excited uh, again I feel like this is more of a show vlog than a tell vlog which I know some of you guys who get tired of my talking vlogs are really enjoying but let's keep going let's go about the day so excited best birthday in quite some time So now I am dressed, showered, and everything, and we are about to head out for our birthday dinner. I did end up going with a different dress, though. I did bring my House of CB dress, but it just wasn't giving like it was in LA. I think maybe my endorphins were high in LA, and it looked better, I guess, but I got this dress, which I really like. I think I got it from Chic Couture. I'll link it down below if anybody is interested. I got this dress as a backup dress, but it ended up being the go-to dress. Um, but nonetheless, time for dinner. Talk to you guys later. And okay, a la one, a la two, a la one, two, three. Happy birthday to you, cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you, cha cha cha. Good morning. 
again at my favorite spot which is right here by the pool um so today the day after my birthday but still technically part of my birthday the whole week is basically my birthday um we are going to get well we're gonna get up we are, have gotten up we're going to go I don't know how what order we're gonna do things specifically but we have breakfast we're gonna chill by the pool for a little bit we're gonna get tested because we do need to get tested to come back into the u.s tomorrow so um negative test no matter even if you're vaccinated or not you do need a negative test to get back in so gonna do that sometime before we do dolphins so we're going to go swimming with the dolphins but last night was at sunset mona lisa i got the oysters um might not have been a good choice but the truffle pasta was really good the carrot cake it was the only dessert part of it, it was a three course meal dinner so um it was the only dessert option that i kind of knew i'm not a big carrot cake person so but it was the only one i recognized um but overall i love the experience it was a nice you never get to see a view like that i wish i could have enjoyed the truffle pasta more because it really tasted good but because those oysters were just oysters everywhere are prepared so different and y'all know i'm typically an oyster person but me and them oysters just did not we couldn't see eye to eye we were not getting along so it definitely interfered and impacted my truffle pasta experience but nonetheless um today it's gonna be so much fun still excited today's our last full day here of course we leave tomorrow but if you want to continue on about the day you know what to do keep watching So now back in the room, it is approximately about 8 p.m. So we are showered back in the room. We are bonneted up and we are actually packed. She's making me a better um, pre-packer. I typically pack in the morning a majority of everything, but I'm pretty well packed and for tomorrow. We leave at 
1 17 is when our flight takes off but we're gonna get there much earlier since we have to go through everything verify show them our negative COVID test we have e-verify so that should be easy but nonetheless we went to dinner at Malibu fresh Malibu something we went there for breakfast the other day um, we got churros which was not on the menu we asked concierge is there any place here who makes churros and they were like we got you also that place didn't have guacamole as a standalone dish on the menu we were like we will like that as well so we had two non-menu items don't expect to go there well unless you ask them go there and get those two things or see those two things on the menu at the restaurant that is here on site at the hotel oh before i get any comments regarding the dolphins because i already got a dm because i shared if you follow me on instagram at lelavon89 you know i'm here in real time so this is not a surprise to you but i got a dm already about the dolphins like that is so cruel like again i think anytime i do anything like when i went to the zoo there's always going to be some people who do not like animals in captivity but still eat like shrimp and salmon and all cow and chicken and all that i learned so much about the dolphins and swimming with them i asked so many questions like how many babies do they have i got to feel their skin got to learn so much more about them so if you have a problem with it i am so sorry again you do not need to sound off in the comments i'm a pre-apologizing for those people who have a problem with dolphins but if you use it as an educational experience more so than like an entertaining experience which you guys didn't see or what they didn't capture is us learning so much about them feeling understand how they mate understanding how long their gestation is that they're pregnant for 12 months and seeing one up in person and getting to know a little bit more about them is just such a wonderful experience but nonetheless i will check in back with you guys tomorrow morning So now I am back home. It is 8.20 p.m. local time. Our flight left because I realized I have not spoken to you guys all day. Today is Tuesday. Our flight left Cabo at 1.17. We weren't supposed to land back until roughly about 7.45, 7.50-ish. We landed about 45 minutes earlier. We made great time. I mean, granted, you might be like 1 to 8, but again, remember time differences it was like an almost four hour flight, which was great. Um, I stopped on my way home, got me a McFlurry. Well, the McFlurry actually, actually was free. I actually got some other unhealthy items. They had a McFlurry at the window. He was like, you want this? I'm like, 
I mean, the birthday freeness just keeps coming in. It keeps rolling in. But I'm going to close out the vlog. I actually have tomorrow off, which I feel so pumped and energized. So I don't feel tired, but I needed a rest day. I put a rest day in. Didn't want to go to the office, which is the office is right there. But still, don't want to do that. want to go enjoy my day, unpack leisurely, go pick up Winnie. Of course, I have to get my, my dog. But nonetheless, it was a phenomenal trip. I, Again, the last probably travel vlog of 2021 I don't think I have anything in December but the last travel vlog of the year and I think I went out with a bang now I've gotten a lot of DMs and questions on Instagram for you guys who follow me there from people wanting to know what made me choose this hotel this excursion what did I book through who was the planner all of this I have to give credit where credit is due my best friend planned every single step all I have literally done like I said she had an itinerary which every time she would book something or pay for something she would just update the itinerary change it from like a closed circle to an open like she really did the thing and since we were shared you know you can share a note on iPhone so people can work on a note together she just I didn't really work on it she just updated it and just told me when I needed to cash up her so I cash up her every step of the way she let me know this is the price hey this is that this is your half that's all we did. She, I can't take your credit for anything. I think I had a say in the hotel. She chose three. I, you know, I had a say so in that. And of course she was like, are you comfortable with these excursions? And I, of course, loved every single one. So I was down for that. I'm an easy, easy person to please. So, and us being kind of twinsies in the sense that we do have the same birthday, we align on a lot of things, which made us great roommates for the four years of our 20s that we shared together. But nonetheless, she got the transportation from from the hotel to the to the airport and airport to the hotel you need that at Cabo please do not land and think you're going to uber please land with the understanding that you need ground transportation I think ours was called Cabo Lindo that was ours it was a fantastic service great quality cars was probably the best quality cars that we have been in please do not get hassled by those people on the streets they're gonna overcharge you you're gonna end up paying over the amount just have a reputable service I'd say for ground transportation I might get some comments. Please do more travel vlogs. Again, I do work a, a regular job. Check out those luxury content creators for those travel vlogs because, you know, they, they don't have to take PTO. We, I don't got unlimited over here. I don't got unlimited. But to continue to see the occasional travel content that I do bring your way, make sure you click that subscribe button. Just click it. Just click it down below and give this video a big thumbs up. I'm going to start editing probably tomorrow. So just know I'm putting in the effort and the work for you guys. At least you could do is give a big thumbs up. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at Lelevon89 so you can know when I'm places in real time and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!